You take the apple and you actually put it up into the first part of the apple cider press. It's a fall tradition. As you turn the crank, what happens is the apples get crushed and mushed. And the season for making apple cider at the Stanford Museum and Nature Center. It's one of our real key um, key programs that we do here at the Nature Center. Environmental educator Nicole Dario teaches children in preschool through fourth grade. They learn how to make the cider firsthand. There goes our apples. We talk all about apples, how they come in different colors and sizes, and then we actually learn how to make apple cider. The kids help us make it by using the apple cider press. We made apple cider. Make apple cider. And how did it taste? Good. After the demonstration, the preschoolers got a taste of the sweet treat. Apple cider has such a really strong apple flavor. Um, they drink it and they usually ask for more. You turn the crank, it squishes out all of the juice, and the juice comes out, and that is what actually apple cider is. Here at the farm, we actually don't pasteurize our, our apple cider, so we actually buy cider from the store for the students to taste. But our apple cider just definitely doesn't go to waste. All, a lot of our animals on our farm will eat the apple pomace, the crushed up apple in their dinners at night. You can learn how cider is made or visit the animals at the farm at the Nature Center's Harvest Festival. The annual festival will also feature a scarecrow contest, pumpkin carving, crafts, and more. For more information about the festival taking place Saturday, October 19th and Sunday, October 20th, visit StanfordMuseum.org. Christina Chiarelli, It'sRelevant.com.